Hey YouTube, it's Sharice here, and we're going to do a quick, um, sort of get ready with me. All I'm doing today is, well, first of all, let's talk about what time it is. It is 2.43 a.m. on the 29th, so it's my mother's 46th birthday. Yay, go mom, go mom. She's 46, she's 46. So, yeah, I'm actually getting ready to go pick up my friend slash co-worker, Mr. Holiday taking him to the airport his flight leaves at 5 15 so you know i want to get him there at least an hour early he sh it shouldn't be too bad going through tsa and stuff because it's such an early flight i was like what's that noise i thought i had my do i have my stove fan on i don't even know but um one of my subscribers suggested that i show you guys what the l'oreal true match looks like in c8 so that's what we're going to do today i'm just going to do foundation um Probably just foundation and eyebrows for now, and I'm just going to do um, my mascara when I get there. I'm probably not doing anything to my eyes today. I'm going to keep it real low-key because I'm not doing too much. So let me just pull out the foundation. Got it right here. All right, so this is the foundation we're going to be wearing today, the L'Oreal True Match and C8 Cocoa. And I've got my tea here to help me wake up. I even though I feel pretty awake and alert. I went to bed at like 8.30 and then woke up at 2, so. Mmm. So, so, so good. So, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do a primer or if we're just going to see how this works. All I have on is my Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm for sensitive skin. So, let's just roll. We're just going to roll with it like this. Ouch. I just hit my pinky. All right, so I've shaken that up, and this is very, very liquidy. So I'm just gonna do a couple little dabs, and I have a damp beauty blender. And we're just gonna blend this into my skin, and as you can see, I have a very thin, light layer right now. color match is really good it looks a little bit orange right now but I'm sure it's probably gonna oxidize a little bit but you used a very small amount for me and we're just blending this in the beauty blender I think it's supposed to be a medium coverage but it's definitely buildable because this will get full coverage I remember what I remember, yeah, it makes your skin look very uh, flawless. I already look better. <laughs> I just look so young. Like, I don't mind going out just like this with just foundation or even without makeup now. My skin is getting to the point where it's getting really, really good, like, to me. Like, the acne breakouts are kind of going away. It's, like, very minimal. And the dark spots are, you know, starting to fade. They're way less bad than they were, you know, last year. So I'm making progress with my skin. And I really like the way my face looks with that makeup looking straight on, but it's just the sides that still have some pretty bad acne scarring and stuff. But it's definitely getting better. So this is with one really thin layer. You can see my imperfections are still showing through a lot, but I did not use a lot of foundation at all. And this side is pretty much covered, so I'm going to leave my forehead in the centers of my face as is and add a little bit more to the chin. I'm just going to do little dabs like this and to the sides of my face. like so. So I added a little bit more just to get a little bit more coverage. Yeah, this definitely works really good with a beauty blender.
and it's very lightweight on the skin. And I definitely really like this color a lot more than um, N8. I was using cappuccino, but that's too light for me, so I gave it to my sister. I definitely need cocoa or deeper. And it kind of dries down to like a demi matte because it's not super shiny on my face. And I don't really have on a primer primer with it. So that's nice. The finish is satin. Yeah, more satin than demi matte. Satin finish. All right, so. This is what the skin looks like. You can see how that was very buildable, really easy. You just add on a little bit more and you can get um, more coverage. But yeah, a little bit goes a long way. I feel like this is a really simple, fast, easy foundation because my face is, is done, like the foundation is done. I'm gonna set this using some L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible Powder just because I really like the color of their, um, the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible Powder and it's very finely milled. It's more finely milled and has a more fine texture than the L'Oreal True Match Powders, but I really like the L'Oreal True Match Powders as well. But yeah, I really like the color of this. It has like a yellow undertone, so I feel like it goes with my skin tone really, really, really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that back and get the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible Powder if it's out here. Do I even have it out here? Watch me whip, whip, watch me make, watch me whip, 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 whip. <laughs> oh, I do have it. L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible in 800 Cocoa. So this is the, shade, the same shade, just different lime. This isn't from the True Match line, this is from the Pro Matte Infallible line. But I do like the True Match powders, I just don't have any currently that I can use to set this. So we're gonna use this. I'm gonna use an e.l.f. complexion brush. No, e.l.f. flat top powder brush, goodness gracious. I'm just gonna press this into the skin all over my face and I'll do half my face so you guys can see the difference. Just gonna press this into the skin. You can already see it's changing the color a little bit. This powder does have more of a reddish tone to it. I feel like I can definitely pull that off being that I am deeper. It just makes me look a little bit more rich. So that's basically one half. My hair's kind of flat back here. I moisturized it a little bit this morning. Alright, so hopefully you guys can see that one half is a little bit um Basically a little bit darker, so that's, and of course it's way, way more matte. I'm trying to get this lighting situation together, like, it's really bothering me. I don't want it to be too dark, I don't want it to be too bright. I feel like that's going to be too dark for you guys. Here, let's try that. Is that better? Hopefully y'all can see me. I feel like y'all can see. But this is without powder. You see how it has that nice golden brownish tone to it? And this is with powder. It's a little bit deeper, a little bit more rich, a little bit more red. So now I'm just gonna set the other half. So yeah, I feel like since my sister is here, I was doing like full eye looks. They weren't complicated eye looks, but like I was doing full makeup, you know, highlighting all that stuff. And now that she's gone, I'm like, we're both on like this basic, very simple look trend. 
or streak, I should say, I should say a simple look streak where we're just like not feeling like doing a full face. We don't want to put on eyeshadow. I don't want to do anything. I want to put on highlight. I don't want to do anything. Just foundation. <laughs> Eyebrows and mascara is all we've been doing and like lip gloss. But yeah, I definitely like the way I look um, with simple makeup or with, you know, a full super glam beat face, but I just have not been feeling it. It's probably because I've been really tired and sleep deprived since she came, so. Hosting guests is exhausting, like, man. Okay, so now my full face is powdered, and you see I have a very nice, even matte finish. It looks very smooth. It looks very good in person. I like it. Too. And um, I feel like this is very, like, transfer-free once you set it with powder. It's, like, locked in. So let's continue on, and I'm going to do my brows. I know I keep, like, touching myself in this area. And I've just got some Wet n Wild pencils that I use in three different colors, three different shades, um, just to do my brows. A warm brown, a cool brown, and a black. I'm going to start with the black pencil. But yeah, yesterday all I did was slept in until 1, and then I got a call from one of my fraternity sisters needed me to go pick somebody up from the airport. But we both ended up getting there at the same time. She was on her way from Greensboro. I was on my way from Rock Hill to the Charlotte Airport. And we ended up getting there at the same time. We picked up another sister. And we all just went to Wendy's and like had a really great conversation for a couple hours and ate some food at Wendy's. So that was nice. But I got off work at 7 a.m., which is why I say I slept in until 1, basically. Almost 1. And then, after I got back, I called up my friend, Mr. Goodwin. And he came over, and we went to the store, and we got a bottle of champagne. So when we finished that bottle of champagne, and I went to bed at 8.30, and he went home. And then I woke up, and then now I'm here. Because I just really just, I just really felt like having some champagne. But I knew if I drank the champagne I wanted, that I would not be able to do anything else for the day. Except sleep. So it worked out perfectly, since I needed to be up so early. So I got good rest. Because I have to work 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. today. And then I'm probably going to take a nap. I feel like all I do is work and like sleep. I'm bringing my leftovers to eat for lunch, so... Yesterday I drew my brows on so quick, but today I'm taking a little bit more time since I have some more time. I have a really bad song stuck in my head. Really bad song. I don't even know how it got in my head. I don't even know the last time I heard this song. Because all I did was listen to classical music yesterday. 
Bach and Mozart and Chopin and Rachmaninoff. I'm probably tired of seeing medium brows. It's the same process every day. They're like uneven though. You see that? Like this one is like going its own direction today. Yeah, like they look interesting today. trying to figure out how do I fix this I like this bro yeah we just need to get this one together Oh yeah, so I'm gonna go to work and take a nap and call my mom and then go to worship service to midweek. Uh worship service, Bible study. I forget what we're talking about tonight. I think uh why does God we're doing this question oh my gosh, we're doing this campaign called Twelve Questions. We're answering the top twelve questions that people submitted. I just summarized that real quick. Basically, we're answering questions that people are really curious about. When it comes to the Bible and just Christianity in general. So yeah, the sermons are really, really good. I'm actually going to put the link in the bottom box below. I feel like I said that in another video, but I really am going to do that because it's a really good campaign and the sermons are really, really good and I highly encourage you to watch them especially the fourth form which is talking about why there's so many different churches i feel like it's very insightful and any person anybody that's a christian should watch that and it's just very informative and thought-provoking and um eye-opening i learned some things i grew up in the church that i go to which i go to the church of christ that's all it's called is church of christ Real simple, real plain like that. So, but a lot of people don't even know what the Church of Christ is, but there's so many different churches, you know? So, yeah, it's just like a really cool video and sermon. Okay, so now they're looking a little bit more even and related. I'm just going to kind of feather out the, the beginning parts of my brows. And then I use my powder brush to soften it all up. Yeah, this set beautifully, this foundation, with that powder. So those are the brows. They look a little strange on camera. Which makes me feel self-conscious because they look weird on camera. But they look okay in person. All right, so next we just need, oh my goodness, it's 3.02. I told him I'd be there at 3.30 to pick him up, but she lives down, down the street. Down the street, 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 street. Okay, so I'm going to put some mascara through my brows. This is the L'Oreal Miss Manga. So everything I've used so far has been L'Oreal except my eyebrow pencils, which are wet and wild. But we have L'Oreal foundation, L'Oreal powder. And I'm using this L'Oreal mascara to kind of set my brows into formation. Yes, there we go. I feel better about them. There we go. They're nice and a little bit more crisp now. All right, so now we're going to use some CoverGirl, the Super Sizer Mascara. 
This is one of my favorite mascaras from the drugstore. I'm just going to apply that to my upper lashes only because I did that yesterday and I really liked the way that it looked when I just did my upper lashes. And it's just because I didn't have time to do my lower lashes and then I forgot I didn't have mascara on my lower lashes. So. I'm just going to apply this quite generously to my upper lashes. Really get those kind of popping. And then I'm just going to throw on, um, you see the difference that makes that versus this? And just how it just opens up the look. This is definitely very similar to my Bandcamp face. Almost identical to my Bandcamp face. Some days I didn't even use mascara. This basically is my Bandcamp face. Like just foundation, powder, eyebrows, and some lip gloss occasionally mascara because I normally have on shades because we're outside. I need to figure out what I'm going to do with my hair for band camp though because last year I was bald so I could wear any hat I wanted really easily, really easy, but now that I have like a puff, it's not quite long enough to get all into a low ponytail to pull through a cap and even if I did put on a cap and I take it off it's going to like, you know, unsmooth the top of my hair. I'm going to be looking rough when we do go inside. You know, I want to look presentable, so, but I don't really want to get braids because braids are kind of heavy, you know, and then kind of thick. So, honestly, I kind of just want to cut my hair off again for a band camp, but I told my mom I was going to let my hair grow out. So, I guess I'm just going to have to wear visors so I can wear my puff on the top of my head and, you know, put a visor on. But... I don't like visors because I feel like they make me look like an old lady. Like, I already kind of act like a mom. Like, I have students that call me mom. And I just thought that's really going to put the icing on the cake. With my motherly demeanor. You see, this mascara is awesome. So I'm really just going in. And I can literally do this in like 10 minutes. Yesterday I did. I was like in a rush. I used a foundation I didn't even have to set with the powder yesterday. So. So that's the mascara. And then last but not, last but not least, um, just go ahead and put on... Um, some lip gloss, or you could even do a lipstick. I'm gonna keep it simple. And I'm just gonna put on this NYX Butter Gloss in Vanilla Cream Pie, which is just like a nice pink color. Oh, my lips chapped. Mmm. Oh yeah, I need to exfoliate them. But yeah, this completes the look. This is my super simple go-to face. It's real simple, real cute, you know, just a little something, something. So yeah, I need to get dressed and go pick up Mr. Holiday. And um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this super quick look. But you can literally do it in 10, 15 minutes if you're not taking your time like I was. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this look, and I hope you guys enjoyed the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. You see how it looks on my skin, and we'll see how it lasts throughout the day, because it feels really, really good right now. So check me out on Snapchat and see how it looks throughout the day, and how much I need to touch up. But I do appreciate you, 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 and you, 
and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye, YouTube.